Chad from Drive the Lightning. Thanks for being here. Just a quick video. This is an update on my mom's BMW i3. You might remember that this thing bricked. She bought it from Carvana, and about 60 days later, she went out to start it. Nothing. Just a bunch of errors on the dashboard. So we didn't know what to do about it. But one thing was interesting. When this thing bricked, I mean, you couldn't use the key fob. You couldn't open the hatch to charge it. You couldn't open the front if you even wanted to look at the um, accessory battery to see if that's what was up. So I'll link to a video at the end that'll show you how you get around all of those things. But ultimately we had to have it towed and this was the outcome. Stay tuned. So there is mom and her BMW i3. So excited to be leaving the garage today where this car has been getting that auxiliary battery fixed. And that is indeed what the problem was. The 12 volt aux ex accessory battery is what caused some of this car to sit for a few weeks. So here it is. So that's the good news, she's got it back. You know, she just drove it off the, uh, the um, repair shop today after over two weeks of waiting. And what was she waiting for? The battery. The accessory battery on this car is a small, weird, oddly shaped specific type battery very hard to find they had to order it wait for it to come in i'm guessing that they had to figure out how to get to it get it out and get it back in just guessing because this shop has probably never seen a bmw i3 before but carvana paid for every bit of the repairs it was in the when they went in the 100 day warranty they paid for every bit of the repairs so that was good news and she's very happy to have her car back that's the update so that video of what do you do when your BMW i3 bricks, that video is right here. All right, have a great night. Chad from Drive the Lightning.